Hey guys, it's me, Peter Elvich. I'm back with you guys viewing and listening to Seeing Beneath the Surface, episode 20. I'm here with Tony Quest. This is my co-host as usual. It's so awesome to have her here. We are discussing today in episode 20 about uh, basically pursuing your 2018 goals, how to stick with those, how to, uh, you know, get good strategies on doing your best and being able to stick with what you want to accomplish in 2018. And we'll give some of our points of view as to some things we're working on kind of, uh, you know, how, what goals we're trying to accomplish. So, uh, like I said, yeah. thank you, Tony, for being here. And uh, oh, how are you doing? Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. I really love doing this show with you. It's, I think it's just, it's so good. It's so, you know what it is? It's very contrary to what I'm my regular life, you know? This show is sort of mm-hmm. opens my mind as I, I feel like I'm paying something forward mm-hmm. to I, the I, audience. I, yeah. I can, well, I can definitely agree. It's, it's like it's like taking you know knowledge and, that you know and then passing it on to other people so that they can benefit. And, and particularly, um, you know, one of the biggest struggles is like I mean, we're we're all like you know it's a new year. You know, we're all going to do these like we're going to have we have like a, this giant plate. It's like as if you're go, you you uh, the, the new year is like this big buffet, and you you just <laughs> put a whole ton of stuff onto your plate, and you're just like. Can I eat all this? You know, what am I going to do? Kind of thing. And, and yeah, it, it's, yeah. That's it's a, a struggle, analogy. but yeah, it, it's a struggle, but it's a, it's, it's also exciting for the new year. And, and, um, what better way than to, uh, to talk about like some, like some really good ways of, you know, keeping, keeping to your goals or keeping to, uh, what you want to accomplish this year. Cause I know, mm-hmm. you know, I know from personal experience, it can be difficult. And I know from yeah. talking to many other people, it, you know, it's, it's a little bit challenging, you know? Um, yeah. But I think it's also important to like, to, to talk about the challenge as opposed to, at least what I do is I talk about the challenge or I make an effort to talk about the challenge rather than the difficulty, you know? It sort of smooths it out for me. What do you think? You know, you talk about how hard something is and then all of a sudden it feels harder, mm-hmm. you know? But yeah. then when you talk about the cha- challenge of it, then all of a sudden it becomes inspiring. Yeah, you know, because, like, like one of the major things, like when I was talking to my friends today, uh, and we go to um, it's it's called uh, Planet Fitness here in Minnesota for for a oh, gym, yeah, yeah. and like, and um, one of the things you know, like a lot of people do is you know their biggest resolutions, you know, I'm going to go to a gym or I'm going to work out a little bit more or exercise and things like that. And we were talking, you know, that um, you know, and this is normalcy right here is that you know typically within like you know January to March. You know, it's pretty mm-hmm. busy. Then after like March, April it starts tapering off, and you have mm-hmm. uh, less customers than previously expected. And mm-hmm. um, and I think it's because, like you said, people are looking at you know, uh, it's, you know, I've got to keep a schedule. I got to remember my, you know, my uh, measurements and things. Uh, mm-hmm. And they just look at the challenge in that way, and it becomes overwhelming. Versus if they looked mm-hmm. at it, you know, like you know, what what can I achieve or, you know, like, or, or even just uh, admiring the small stuff. Like, like, let's say you're completely new to using a gym. You have no idea, you know, like what certain equipment is. Just mm-hmm. learning how to use something properly is just one of those small um, overcoming challenges that could, that, you know, you just have to remember that can push you forward to uh, achieving your goal of keeping a schedule and yeah, keeping on, yeah. you know, working out, for instance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying on that one. I think what happens to people is they, um, they make, I don't want to say they make it too hard, we make it too hard on ourselves, but they make it too, um, all or nothing as opposed to sort of easing into something. And mm-hmm. I know when I do something, I always do things in the gym. I haven't done anything in the gym recently, but when I do exercise, and I do exercise, I always think to myself, will I be able to do this? as well as I'm doing it now in 10 years? And if the answer mm-hmm. is yes or maybe, then I'll do it. As long as mm-hmm. the answer is yes or maybe. <laughs> I don't take the no yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah, you, you might as well, I mean, you might as well try it if it's something you're definitely, you know, passionate about. Like I know a lot of people are, you know, for getting back to exercising and working out. It's a passionate thing. Like, I mean, instantly at the beginning of the year, you just have this mindset, like, I'm going to do this. And, uh, you know, what I would suggest to people is, like, 
you know, if you're new or you're getting back into it, enjoy the little accomplishes because then they grow to a bigger one. Um, you know, ease yourself into it. Don't be like, you know, because like you said, a lot of people, even my friends, are like, you know, uh, well, you know, I used to, uh, for instance, be able to carry this weight or that weight, you know, and I haven't done it for mm-hmm. a while and I want to get back into it. And it mm-hmm. sucks that I can't, you know, use that full, you know, carry that full weight like I used to and I have to get back into thing. Don't worry about, like, what you used to do. And just, you know, is, is see that as an accomplishable goal, getting back to that point instead of, it, instead mm-hmm. of seeing it as, you know, well, ah, crap, you know, I uh, mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I kind of slowed down in the, uh, you know, how long it's been ever since. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It happens. There's different reasons why. And I don't even think of it as, as excuses. I think of it as reasons. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, you go back to the gym and you see a regular crew of gym rats, there's people that are always there or whatever, and then they say, where you been? You know, and you have a reason, not an excuse. That's why mm-hmm. I look at everything. I don't make excuses, but I will give you a reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and and one of the things, like, particularly on, on this goal of, like, athletics, you know, of, of getting back to, like, training a little bit more and things like that, one of the biggest things that I'd also recommend to people is, like, is, you know, having a friend or a family member, something like that, someone, you know, that, uh, you know, you can be uh, – uh, it's weird to say accountable. Like, I mean, you're held accountable to them in a in a certain way, but you don't want to feel like you're so obligated that it becomes – a job. It's just that that you are meeting up with someone else, and just kind of that mindset of you know, hey, you're going there, or you know, you're gonna. You know, what I what I do with my friend is that we we always go to the gym, and we would have you know like really interesting discussions just randomly about anything. Somebody would have a good time while we're there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, I think that having someone else be there with you to you know to be accountable in some way uh, that you're either there or someone to tell you, you know, that, you know, hey, you know, you can do this, you can do that, is definitely something I'd recommend, particularly in the sense of athletics, but also you can utilize this in other areas. Mm-hmm. It's, it's interesting, you, I know that when I go to the gym, there are friends you make. It's a great place to, to make friends and meet people. I mean, I was at the gym, I met Joan Rivers' chauffeur, you know, and then I actually bumped into him by mistake, physically actually knocked into him because I was looking in the wrong mm-hmm. direction, and we just started having a conversation on the elliptical, and it turned out that he was Joan Rivers' chauffeur. And I was like, wow, check mm-hmm. this out. And then I actually met him, it's funny, I met him like, like three weeks before she died. You know, I think of it, mm-hmm. I ended up doing a portrait of her. You never know what it'll lead to. Go to the gym, you just never know what it'll lead to. And I did a, a, a portrait of her. You know, yeah. um... It- I wouldn't have thought of doing it if I had not bumped into this guy before I got on the treadmill and I was checking out his tattoos and telling me about, you know, one in particular, and that's how we got on the conversation. Mm-hmm. So it's not always about working at the social event very often for people, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, you just, you, you never know what, what could happen. It's just, that's the... That's a really interesting thing, and that's like ultimately the reason why we're we're, we're talking about what we're talking about is like yeah. sticking to your goals is because you never know like um, you know like let's say you have a passion to you know uh, for instance you know us as artists you know we want to create mm-hmm. the best art you know yeah. and because of that we get so motivated and you know we create a schedule where we're just promoting to people and talking and actively being social that I mean you never know who you might bump into or who you might talk to who will all of a sudden be yeah. like you know hey I'll, I want you in my exhibition or things like that um, it's 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 so um, it's so interesting because uh, I will definitely state, you know, as, as one of the things that I'm looking forward to continuing that recently happened during, it was during the holidays and before the holidays and then after is, mm-hmm. um, is that I've been promoting and, and doing my YouTube channel for, uh, you know, about two and a half years now. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, um, YouTube has come forward and gotten me connected to a whole bunch of sponsorships before oh, I'm at nice. the required amount to ask for sponsorships. So mm-hmm. the interesting thing is that we've had five sponsorships of uh, different companies. You know, they give you a piece of technology or you view it, and then you can keep mm-hmm. it afterwards. 
Mm -hmm. And that's something I hope to continue in 2018 because I told them after the first two, I'm like, if you guys got people who are interested or tech savvy, you know, let me know. And I never knew what would come of it. And all of a sudden we're on, you know, I'm on my sixth um, sponsorship right now. So you really, you know, keep keep at it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Now, this is the show that you do earlier in the day, right? I would say earlier in the day. This is your other show that you do. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Well, the, congratulations. I appreciate it. Yeah, the the YouTube channel uh, is a mix of shows. So it's it's a mix of um, content from the Total Education Network. It's a mix of content from my own network, First Year Network. Uh, this show mm-hmm. in particular, uh, it's kind of a, kind of a culmination of all sorts of different places, and because of the mixed audience that comes to the channel, I think that's why they um, why they all of a sudden got interested and sent a couple uh, things my way. And I'm just like, okay, now you know, now that I've got a little bit of a ball rolling, I've got a. Um, this is one thing I can say is I got a substantial um, sponsor just a couple days ago, uh, where I got sponsored by Google. And the fun thing is that they're going to be sending me a Google Home to try. Uh, to uh, test out if it's accessible and things like that. And um, mm-hmm. the fun thing is that uh, I can't, you know, this is the fun part that I can't say because I was allowed to say this uh, to everyone. The fun part that I can't say is I can't say what color I'm getting. I'm getting some sort of a custom color, and to find out what that is, you actually have to check out the video when it does come next week. Oh, so that's going to be okay. fun to do. <laughs> yeah, that's really great, Kate. You know, congratulations. You know, you make strides. You don't take mm-hmm. you don't take little steps. You make strides. I I try to, you know, and and that's why I wanted to put this out there to like anybody who's listening. It's like, let's say you get a little bit of a of a momentum going, and then it kind of slows down, right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, let's say you have some people working with you, and then you finish their tasks, and then kind of have a a slow period, so to speak. Just go out there, ask questions, and, you know, you might find your next project, your next company yeah. that you're working with. You never know. Um, mm-hmm. You know, never be afraid to, you know, reach out. Cause I know how difficult it is being kind of an antisocial person at times. Um, and, you know, you just uh, just understand that, you know, you have unique abilities and unique talents that the rest of the world doesn't have because you, ha- you, you have that unique point of view no one else does. And, present that to other people, you know what I mean? Right, right. You know, and it's it's, it's good to share the knowledge that you have and they build and I mean you have a tremendous amount of talent in many areas from where I sit, you know, because you have this technological ability. I don't know if it's it's a skill set that a lot of people don't have or I'd say if I were to be accurate, most people have this, this skill set but not everybody um has it as well as everyone else. So it's, it's mm-hmm. really kind of like a cumulative um, uh, knowledge base that's developed over over a period of time, you know, and mm-hmm. it's what you want to do with it. You know, I love the Internet. i got to say, it's a wonderful thing. I'm glad that for now at least it's free, you know, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing I definitely, you know, uh, another great strategy for you guys out there, be a sponge, learn something new every day, like make a, make a goal to, I mean, you don't even have to like restrict yourself as to like one thing per day. That's typically what I do. But just like make sure like, you know, if it's one thing per, per week or a couple things per week, just like continue to learn something, even if it's in small chunks. Um, because mm-hmm. when you do that, I mean, you learn those skill sets and then, you can, uh, next thing you know, someone comes to you and says, hey, do you know how to do this and this? And you can and say, you yes, I do. To... Yep, you can yeah. say, yes, I do. And then be like, you know what, on top of that, I have a couple other skill sets I, I can offer you too, just to, you know, put a little icing on the cake, and next thing you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you are. But, um, yeah, there you, you are. Never know what's around um, the corner. You never know what's around the corner for you, which is, which is, you know, I think often a lot of people – I know a lot of people in my life. I know a lot of people, period. But I'm saying there's some people in my life um, that just either um, have trouble going to the next stage of what their own development is, would be natural even for them to do because of their, um, I guess there's an apprehension. 
Um, I'll say that not everybody is like someone like you or, or myself that has, feels comfortable, you know, uh, talking on the radio. You know, I think about the fact that I've talked to tens of thousands of people. I've done that on live radio, and I, so I'm not nervous, you know. I can say that it's interesting. The Internet just provides such a, a wealth of opportunity, you know, and, and I think it's a good idea to, to seize it. I think it's a good idea to seize it now because, you know, we do have our net neutrality, thre- you know, threatened. So, but even if that does happen, there's always a way to sort of get yourself in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I definitely, uh, I would definitely agree with that. So, um, what are some things you look forward to or like any, uh, like big projects or things like that you happen to be working on that might be a work in progress or things for any way to look forward to? Well, I am so happy with this year that we're in right this second because 2017 was a, an extraordinary year for me. Um, I'll say that while I was going through it, um, I probably didn't appreciate uh, the things that I was kind of learning by default. And I did go through a couple of tragic things, you know, death in the family and things like that, and uh, a little bit, you know, uh, the flare-ups of, of my, um, I'll say my issue. But mm-hmm. I got through them. And I feel really good, and I was blessed with um, a reward for the fruits of my labor, which I'll actually share maybe in another show, but it really was the opening for tremendous projects for me in 2018. I'm mm-hmm. happy. Yeah. Well, it's definitely. It's, it's just, like I said, you get the, you start the momentum and, and, and that's the thing too is that I think it's important to mention too is that, you know, Unfortunately, you know, life does happen. Sometimes we get kicked back a couple of steps, you know. Yeah. yeah. And I and I and I totally understand that because I definitely this last year I, um, I, I I had some of my own things to deal with. A couple of them in particular were particularly um, uh, severe. At least in my case, I had to deal with. And um, mm-hmm. and you know, it's just uh, it, it's difficult because it's a personal thing, but just always keep on going there's always a possibility there's always a way to um to to keep going even if it takes some time like you need some time to relax or recuperate um mm-hmm. that's totally fine and yeah. i personally yeah. believe because um i actually have a friend who's going through some stuff at the moment who's part of youtube um i personally believe like him if you need to take a break and you need to you know, uh, relax and make sure that, you know, your community understands, you know, that you just need a break because of some circumstances that, yeah. you know, in some, it, that I hope they understand because that's what you need. And if they don't, mm-hmm. then, you know, uh, that's unfortunate, but that's, you know, that's who you are. Mm-hmm. And if they can't take you who you are, you know, that's uh that's a big thing. I think also when these things happen, at least this is my experience, it's good to realize that, you know, I do believe everything happens for a reason, you know, but when these things happen, it, you, you, I tended, I tended to get like all like bummed out about it when I was younger, but as I got older, I realized that had certain things not happened, certain things, if certain things have happened, have happened a different way, there are opportunities that I was able to enjoy that would not have happened, mm-hmm. you know? Oh yeah, you know, it's kind of like missing the train, missing the plane that you're supposed to go somewhere, and you're like, "Oh man, I missed the plane," and then you find out the plane that you missed that crash, you know? Mm-hmm. Or let's say, you know, or or you got on a different plane, you met somebody. This is more positive. This not happen mm-hmm. to me. I got on a different plane, tried to take a diverting flight, and I met someone that was interested in my book, you know, mm-hmm. for her book club in another state, you know, and had I not missed that plane, that wouldn't have happened. You know, something like, I think a yep. lot of it is about having a preset mindset that's going to see the benefit in anything that happens regardless. You know, some things it's almost impossible. I don't want to get into, like, horrific things, but mm-hmm. there's always something to be learned. And if there's something to learn from it, there's something, there is something gained from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knowledge is power. 
yeah, you know, uh, some of the, some of the experiences that you know, I mean, that you can have that might be trying experiences provide their own set of, um, you know, they provide their own set of challenges, but they provide their own set of opportunities to, you know, learn and overcome and continue to persevere through challenges that, um, mm-hmm. you, because of the opportunity, the opportunities or the challenges you might overcome. Um, you know, if it would have happened differently where you didn't have those challenges, you know, uh, like you said, opportunities could have, you know, could have or most likely would have disappeared um, mm-hmm. from your radar. Um, yeah, that's true. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those things. Um, and, like, I'm thinking, like, you know, going this year, like, particularly for me, I had, like, I had uh, four – four major goals that I had um and part of those goals was like uh you know not only being as like you know positive and promoting and things like that like I normally am but I want to also be as um as connecting and and as as you know create a positive uh, community where not only is it one person talking to other people as if I'm like the top of the community but I want like, I wanted to start something like a really huge movement where um where people are helping other people and inspiring each other and instead of seeing mm-hmm. you know like uh, like for instance, um, if you were to like see a YouTuber or things like that, instead of them seeing you as like so to speak top of the pyramid or top of the community, that you're just another person in the community. You're just you know you just happen to be making the video that everybody's watching at the moment. You know, <laughs> um, right? And, mm-hmm. and and then thinking about like like that and other large tasks. Um, you know, I, it, it's it's both daunting, but it's also an exciting challenge because I have a lot of ideas for videos, but that also means, you know, ideas for videos means I need to commit to them and I need to create a better schedule. And, yes, I do fully admit, you know, I do need to get better on uh, creating a good schedule for things because <laughs> uh, sometimes things do get, you know, a little wayside, unfortunately. But I uh, that is one, you know, many parts of my goals this year. And... Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it because it's the beginning of this year, and it's only been, uh, you know, f- almost six days into the year. And six days? Have, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's it's well, it's, it's weird. See, this is the thing. It's, it's only been six days, and it just feels like it's been just a ton of days. Um, yeah, that's what it felt. It feels that way to me because of this. Uh, that's because of the events packed into it. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, it, yeah, I mean, because you're getting back into the swing of things and you're, you know, you're getting back into, like, your posting and promoting and all this stuff. Like everybody is, you know, you're getting back to work after that nice, comfortable vacation, you know, and the kids are going back to school. And it's just like, <laughs> the know. sugar, the, the debauchery of sugar and alcohol is over for the short, mm-hmm. once again. That's what I consider it. That's what it's like for me in little Christmas. Is it January 6th? Today, right? Or 5th? What mm-hmm. day on whatever day? <laughs> yeah. It, yes. It's, uh, but it's just, it just feels like it's been like so much, like you, you just have the feeling. It's not like a bad feeling, like, oh my God, you know, I'm so tired kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like just, uh, wow, I did a whole bunch of stuff on the first week of the year. But in some ways, for a lot of people, kind of seeing that, turning it into a positive thing, like, wow, look what mm-hmm. I accomplished in a week. What can I accomplish in a month, you know? <laughs> it makes me tired. I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you're right about that. But you know what it is in reality? I would say that as an artist and an entrepreneurial artist and a working, a real-life working artist, I mean, there's always something that's got to be done. You know, there's no way that I can say that just because it's a holiday or whatever. There's always an opportunity to to accomplish something. And um, I'll say I'll tell you what one of my lifelong goals is. And and like and I, it really has become a, a recent goal because I have lived a I am living a life. I'm not telling. I'm not. I feel fulfilled. But one of my real goals is to be successful enough to give away half of my money. Just mm-hmm. give it away, half of it. And I still have enough, maybe more than enough. 
you know? Mm-hmm. And so I think that often in my world, if I think outside of myself, take my ego out of it completely, which is not an easy thing to do all the time, that, and I think in terms of being able to pay my success forward, when I think that way, it's like everything mm-hmm. I do is a success because I'm not really doing it just for me. Mm-hmm. Sounds so yeah. corny, doesn't it? But I'm sincere. You know, no, I really it, mean that. Yeah. But I mean, like, stuff like, like that, like the, the, the ambitious ideas and, and just the, you know, the, the lifetime goals, those are important and those can, you know, change lives. Like, one of the major things that I, that I want to do this year that's, you know, it's something that I've always, I always want to do, uh, um, mm-hmm. You know, if, if I can, if I can figure this out and figure out how to do it, which I know I will, uh, very soon, is I want to do, uh, charity live streams. I want to do more charity live streams. Because the one uh-huh. YouTuber that, that I watch, he does a charity live stream every single month and raises at least a hundred thousand dollars each charity uh-huh. live stream. And I'm just like, I will, I probably won't raise a hundred thousand dollars, but I would love to, you know, I'd love to help out you know, like organizations, blindness, visual impairment, you know, all sorts of different places. Um, you know, it's, I make more than $100,000. Oh, you never know. Well, you, you know, know I, really. I mean, why, if you can do it, why can't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, no pressure. Well, no pressure, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Well, seriously, I think your mindset is interesting, but I think that, I think that because of your sincerity and because of who you are, I think it's very possible that you can make more than a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I see it. I can see you doing that. I figure it's just a matter. It's a matter of time. Like I told someone because they're like, you know, um, they're like, you know, if you got a million dollars, what would you do? And I'd be like, I'd be a horrible millionaire. Because it's not for the sake of, like, that I would use all those this million dollars. I would be like, you know, okay, my family is comfortable. My friends are comfortable. I am comfortable. Now it's time to give back some, you know. And, and they're like, you know, well, wouldn't you like that a bad a millionaire? Million? You know. Uh, uh, that's, a perfect, that's a perfect millionaire. Uh, you'd be, oh, the, no, you'd no, be no. the perfect millionaire. It's it's part of, it's part of their mindset, like where they're like, oh, you should be like getting like buy like big cars or big houses, and I'm just like, I'm just like, if I can get a if I can get a good house, you know, a good a good lifestyle and everything, I'm happy. I'm not gonna look for the giant mansion because I'm just like, <laughs> you know, it's too much to have too much to take care of and too much to handle. I would I'd rather have a nice, comfy lifestyle where I can start helping out people. Um, you know, through the through the benefits of like either where I'm working or how I'm working, that would be that would be fantastic. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is that I think that the things that you do in general are things that are, are intention intentionally to to help people. I think that's a winning situation. You know, when you're mm-hmm. thinking in terms of doing something for someone else rather than yourself, that's what I think. And um, I think that. Just expressing yourself and your feelings and trying to, to give people encouragement in itself is, is a winning thing to do, in my opinion, as well. Not everybody's that way, you know, but I think that people that are intent on paying it forward, which is like a, a concept that I kind of learned later in life, I think those are the people that do exceptionally well. Those are the mm-hmm. people I think that someone might trust, you know. Yeah. Um, I think when you do give things away, um, they come back to you, all the good things you do. Mm-hmm. I spoke to a woman recently. You'll like this, Pete. I spoke to this woman recently about, we are just talking about different things. And she said, um, whenever she says, I said to her, I have a problem. I know that people are, people get jealous, you know. And I get upset when people get jealous. I think it's a real ugly emotion. And she mm-hmm. said, well, whenever I get that feeling, she says, she likes a white candle. And she says, um, she says to the universe, whatever anybody's thinking about me right now, I want them to get it back tenfold. So if they're thinking something really good about me right now, I want them to get, mm-hmm. get the same thing tenfold. Yep. You know? Yep. And so mm-hmm. I think that, um, you might get into a, a position and I think that you might see this sooner than later in my, 
um, prediction is that um, you'll you'll enjoy very a lot of success very young, which is very soon because very young for you is actually right now. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I I really have high hopes for you. I really do. Yeah, I I appreciate it, but it's just you know the the one the one thing I just I always like to um, I always like to remind people too is you know you you hear about like successful people or you hear about. Um, you know, like like if you're hearing this story right now, or, or hearing what I'm doing, or hearing what Tony's doing, I mean, it's 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 not something that's you know got some sort of like gigantic secret behind it. I mean, it has you know things that you have to learn, but uh, to say that there's really you know, and this is weird because a lot of people are like you know, well, this is true, but in my mind, to say that there's secrets to success. I don't think they're really secrets. They're just things you haven't learned yet or, or haven't really considered, um, uh, you know, grasping or utilizing. Yeah, because, yeah. Because like, a lot of people, you know, would ask me, you know, like, well, how do you, you know, how do you get opportunities? Uh, because I am naturally a curious person who likes to bug people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't you know, bug people. I, You're a ninja. You're what I call a ninja. You nudge yeah. people. <laughs> Just like, you know, a little elbow. Hey, guess what? <laughs> you know. But, you know, it's, it's, it's that, it's, it's little stuff like that, you know, um, that, like, you, you get, like, questions on, uh, on YouTube videos or on, like, social mm-hmm. media, and they'd be like, you know, what are, sec- what are, what are some secrets to your success? And, you know, there's not really secrets. It's only about, you know, understanding you if you have the will to think of something you want to do you can you can go out and you can start attempting it if it's baby steps if if it's in huge strides or whatever it is um Mm -hmm. you know this is your year the interesting thing um i've i've recently been doing and this is probably for like the last three years i assigned a i assigned a word to uh each year as for like a particular uh, it just, it just kind of gives you like a mindset of like what you want to do that particular year. Um, so it, in, in my instance, this has really helped because it kind of gives me an idea of what I want to do and what do I want to accomplish, um, uh-huh. which I would definitely recommend to everyone to do that. Mm-hmm. You think of a word, mm-hmm. like a theme word kind of thing, like a mantra? Well, just like like um, like, what do you think your year is going to encompass? Like, is it going to encompass creativity because you're an artist? Is it going to encompass success because you want you want to work hard and you're going to work hard? Is it going to encompass uh, you know music or it, it could be anything that you, that really really speaks to you? Because like one of the major things is like a lot of people will say you know oh this is going to be the year that, um, you know, like one of their major goals, like like we talked about, was this is going to be the year that I get better athletically and I start working out more. And and then they put, like, you know, that goal as their um, – as kind of like their encompassing thing. And because of it being that encompassing uh, 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 top of the ladder, so to speak, thought – uh, not only because not only does that make that kind of bigger than them in some ways that they kind of get a little sidetracked by a little daunting, but I feel mm-hmm. that if you have like a word on there, um, if you have a word as your top priority, it is mm-hmm. it, it encompasses what you want to do for you. So like every time you think of that word, you're like, you know, I committed to that, you know, and I have to really try my my best and my you know my abilities to. Um, follow up on my on my commitments and my dedication to it mm-hmm. it sounds like the law of attraction you mm-hmm. know it sounds like the law of attraction you know that i am a, a law of attraction practitioner and um with a, like a life coach for artists and one of the mm-hmm. first things i always say to people and i've worked with a couple of people um recently and the first thing i tell people to do is besides thinking that when they um Controlling what you say, or not even controlling, but being mindful about what you're thinking. The things that you say, people say things that make their lives hard. They don't realize they make the same statements over and over again, and they make their mm-hmm. life really difficult unconsciously. It's not done on purpose. 
but it's, yeah. it's, it's, but it is somewhat deliberate, deliberate. At the same time, there are people like yourself, people like myself, that we're very careful about what we say. You know, because you can say, make a remark over and over again about yourself or about a situation. And what you do is you actually create that. Even though that your intention is to be successful, you actually um, might be beckoning some kind of a failure or distress. And so, you know how often you talk to certain people, they'll say, you're having a conversation, and they'll say, well, you know, I have the flu. I'm not sure, but I have the flu. And they'll say, well, don't say it. Don't even say it. And don't say, I have. Because when you say, mm-hmm. in my opinion, law of attraction, you say, I have. You're taking ownership of that thing. So, you know, as you know, I'm, yes, right. I have that, you take, you automatically you've taken ownership just by saying those two words. So why don't you just say I have a million dollars? Why don't you say I have ten million dollars? I like ten million. A hundred million. What What the heck? Well, the, the, the one thing, the one thing I'm, I, I, I definitely, you know, like you said, is to say I will have, or, or, or you know, that I have it already, or that, you know, I, 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 one of my major goals, because I know this is going to happen, uh, for, uh, a couple of major reasons, but, um, <laughs> uh, I, oh. one of the main, one of the major things that I, I was, um, uh, wanting to happen this year's I, I you know I, I told everybody in my in my first school I said I am going to see again 100% guaranteed I don't know if it's I don't care if it takes days nights weekends whatever it is I'm mm-hmm. going to find a will or a way it's going to I'm going to get the things that I need and the devices that I need and it's going to happen you know mm-hmm. 100% it ain't going to be like a maybe or nothing and no it is I, it is yeah oh yeah I heard and I hear where you're coming from. I hear where you're coming from. And I believe that for you also. I do. Mm-hmm. You know, it seems like, it seems like to me, it feels inevitable. For you, it feels inevitable that you will see. Yep. It's just, it's just I, I, I know how it's going to happen too. I know. Mm-hmm. I won't, I won't say. I don't, I won't say. I don't want to ruin any surprises. But you haven't told me mm-hmm. that I, I can feel what it is mm-hmm. and why you're going to yeah. see again. I'll congratulate yeah, you now. I'll congratulate you in advance. No, I'll congratulate you now. Congratulations okay. on your new site. <laughs> yep. Yep. It, uh, I, it, it definitely, I, I know it's going to happen this year. I just, it, and, and when that happens, you know, I'm going to create, you know, YouTube videos. I'm going to do everything um, encompassing it, not only for the sake of myself, but for, uh, for others. Because, like, so many people are like, you know, um, you know, it's something surrounding, uh, you. You know, I mean, we're all, we're all, we're all hoping this for you. And I'm like, well, yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, I can help other people. And that's definitely what I intend to do, um, when that happens. Cause I know it's going, I know it's going to happen. Uh, it's just mm-hmm. a matter of time. But, uh, uh, but you know, that having that mindset though, just having that idea or, or even like, like if you don't even want to say it, like writing it down mm-hmm. or creating some sort of a post that, you know, so you kind of like committed to it, um, you know, saying, you know, I will have something or I'm going, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power and this is going to be mine by the end of the year, um, can be very powerful. Um, yeah. Like I, 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 I tell you my last year's goals were not to have uh, the community that I have. Um, my last year's goals were primarily around, you know, uh, uh, you know, getting things uh, much better for opportunities, and you know, obviously working out like I started this year. Uh, well, this last year, 2017, continuing in 2018. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, well, yeah. it sort of segues by de- by default, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. The two yeah. years segue by default. You know, there's no way to get, you know it's a transition, no matter how you look at it. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. Um so it is you know looking forward to 2018. Um you know uh, it's you know people say 2017 was a rough year. Unfortunately, you know uh you know it's going to be a great year, but you know we might hit a few bumps in the road here and there, but what I mm-hmm. definitely just 
what I would recommend uh, on top of like having, you know, different mindsets and going out there and trying new things and talking to, you know, as many people as possible and just kind of trying to get out of your comfort zone. Um, I would definitely recommend this being one of the, one of the, if not the biggest thing on your resolution split list is to be who you are because I know how important and how difficult it can be at the same time because we all have this tendency where there's something we want to, um, you know, that we want to not make known or, or just not, um, not put out there. Uh, because we're afraid of how people might think of us, you know, if we do things a certain way or whatever it is. And in my opinion, mm-hmm. you know, although although you want to create a community, um, you want to create a community that understands you for you and not for, you know, someone else. Because uh, the interesting thing uh, to use as an example is a friend of mine has a YouTube channel, and for the longest time, I think it was like three-plus years, he had a character's voice for his channel, and that was just who he was. And Mm -hmm. he just decided one day, he's like, you know, i got to show my face, and i got to, you know, uh, i got to tell you guys or have you guys listen to my real voice in my videos, and that's how it's going to be from now on. Because, of course, he was a little self-conscious and thinking, you know, that people would like him for the character, not for the real him. But he just thought it was a good good choice to... um, be himself rather than, you know, just being the character because, well, even though his voice changes, he really is the character. That's just his, you mm-hmm. know, energetic self. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you can't, you can't change who you are, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I, and I think that we're all made perfect. We're all born perfect. Mm-hmm. That's why I look at it, you know, in God's eyes, you know, but I think that a lot of people this year have been going through this past year. I've we're going through a lot of difficult personal changes, the collective um, yep. mind, the collective mind globally. I think that as a group of, of people on the planet, um, I think that we've gone through some tremendous upheaval and changes and, you know, surprises and things that are just so out of the ordinary. Um, I did feel kind of like an underlying sort of rumbling among us. But, you know, you kind of have to rise above that because it's just your life. Like I would say, mm-hmm. I can only change my own personal universe, you know, and um, any which way I can. I think that we've all been through a lot. Mm-hmm. And I, I also think that a theme, a good theme to take in my uh, life has always been to to pay it forward because once you get out of your own head, out of your own head space, out of your own ego – that's when real magic starts to happen. So you can put your ego aside and just start thinking of how you're, why you're here to contribute to the whole, to the whole. Mm-hmm. Like, what's your contribution to the collective? You know, yep. your positive contribution. And I think it's, it is about mindset. And I do believe in the law of attraction, not the way most people understand it, not in the way that it's been sort of marketed. You know, but there is a reality to it. And if you look back on your own life, and our lives are really all the same length in my opinion, because um, your whole life might be 30 years, or someone else's life, whole life might be six years, but it's still a whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when we start thinking in terms of why we're here and what contribution are we making to the, the global society, you know, mm-hmm. I think that... I think that once we, we start thinking outside of ourselves that way, that I've learned is when the real magic starts to happen. Yep. Idealistic. You know, I'm idealistic. Very idealistic. Yeah. You know, because the weird thing is, um, is I was like, I was like my friend once. You know, I thought a, I thought a, uh, a symbol, so to speak, would be more important uh then you know then then putting my actual like face out there things like that because i when i first created videos or i first made made content i didn't have my face out there no one knew my name no one saw my face all they did was know that like for my youtube channel it was pete 4725 but they didn't know the relevance um and you're like, you're about, like I, prince you're like prince remember when prince did that prince tried to have yeah. just a symbol yeah 
I don't know if that really worked for him or not. It didn't ruin print. But, I mean, I remember mm-hmm. that. It was, like, very bizarre. But it was for him to do that. But I understand the concept. Yeah. And I, I just – I decided to – and not only for the sake of like realism, you know, like my friend who wore, I just, you know, I just, I broke out of my shell finally and I started recording myself and having my picture out there and things like that. But so I was thinking to myself too always that, um, you know, that I have a particular, uh, I have a particular life and a particular, uh, view of the world that a lot, I know a lot of people experience. And I thought to myself, I'm like, I have to share my thoughts because I never know uh, whose ears that might reach and what they might, what that might do for them. Uh-huh. Um, because, uh, and this is this is one thing I, I wanted to touch on because this is one of the major things going through YouTube right now is um, because throughout my throughout my life, I never thought I'd make such an impact on people. Mm-hmm. Um, where I, I helped someone, I, I helped two people in my life uh, prevent from committing suicide because they felt wow. they they felt like their disability was just you know it was just horrible or was just you know this god awful thing and and you know and and I told them I said you know I. I, you know, you, you, there's just not really anything you can really seem to say, but you know, thank you and. Um, you know, you just you're just doing what you what you do, and because of like stuff, particularly like that, where it's so important to help as many people as humanly possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but because of uh, being myself, I just I continue to uh, I continue every year, kind of with that thought. You know, how many more people can I help? How much how how many how much more of my story can can help someone you know no matter what it is you know uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah well you know something that that's the way to think it's that it's people are inspired by different things if you can just get one person the pastor of my church I haven't been going to church very much lately but I just remember her saying once that there were a bunch of people that came to church for something I remember her saying that if I can just get one person, you know, to turn their life around to 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 God. She said she said she's successful. If there's a thousand people in the room, a million people, if one person can make that change to her that's that is success. At least mm-hmm. for the moment. For that particular moment. You know? I mean, who knows? People are motivated by different things, you know? Like just like people being attracted to each other for different reasons. You know, I yep. just, I guess I've seen a lot of different scenarios, but I always found the ones that are thinking outside of themselves, you know, not, I mean, you do have to think about yourself, but the people mm-hmm. that their ultimate goal, like my goal is to, you know, be successful at my art, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But if I even made enough money in terms of money, because most people quantify, you know, themselves, unfortunately, through money. But if you do that, then I can't say I've never done it to quantify myself that way. I find that if I can make enough money to give away half of my money, I'm, I'm a success. Mm-hmm. You know? Because I can afford yep. to give it all, half of it. You know? Yep. At least. At least half of it. Maybe three mm-hmm. quarters of it. You know? Yeah. I mean, how much, do you, how much does one person need? You know? Yeah, really. Yep, I, I I definitely agree. It's uh, it's definitely a new year, and you know, like I said, we're 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 going into a new year. There's so many different possibilities, whether it be success, whether it be helping out others, and paying it forward. Uh, you know, looking at things as if you own them, as if you already are them. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's 2018. It's here, and we're ready. And it, you know, it's January, and we're ready to go. So. Uh-huh. I am happy. I'm happy. Did you go to any good parties? I just want to digress. Did you have? Did you get enough merrymaking in for the season? Did you get your your party on in, at the end of 2017? I always believe you should do a little partying in December. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or a uh, lot of partying, <laughs> a little or a lot, even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We 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 had a good holiday. You know, uh, me and my family. You know, we. We um, had some friends over. We had some food. You know, we had music. It was all that good, fun stuff. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. 
so you know it's just uh after you know after the much needed break for almost mm-hmm. two weeks for me I was yeah. just like all fired up for this week I'm like I'm ready to go I yeah. got all my stuff ready and and you, we have stuff in the hat too we talked we have somebody on on board for next next show but this one is the one we're talking about now so we have a lot of surprises <laughs> don't we we have a couple of oh, surprises yeah. Our next guest is, is going to be a fun one, right? All right. Yep. And, yeah. And, and you know that that's something that you guys definitely have to look forward to in the new year too. Is more more episodes by us, more great guests that are going to uh, come in, and they're going to explain not only about their expertise, but we get to have some really great discussion. Um, and the, the growth of the show too, like the, the growth of the show is insane, uh, in 2017 when we first started it. So I'm mm-hmm. definitely, uh, ready to continue growing the show and, uh, reaching more viewers and helping more people. So, uh, but yeah, so I, I think we're, we're, we're almost out of time. So what I figure is, uh, if you want to, uh, tell people where they can find you or any current projects that people should check out, what you thinking? Well, I want to I want to um, say Happy New Year to our audience. You know, Happy New Year, Happy 2018. This is going to be a really fantastic year. You know, it really is for a lot of us, for most of us, for all, all of us. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for for listening to the show. <clears throat> I mean, I seek personally to educate and entertain and inspire. You know, and um, that's always a goal for me a daily, and it's it's a challenge, but it's it's something that I enjoy trying, a challenge I, I enjoy attempting or just meeting the challenge. And um, I see a lot of change happening for all of us in our global community. Thank goodness for the for the internet. Thank God it's free. You know, we mm-hmm. don't try to keep it that way. Peter and I will talk more about that in in future shows, but. Got to keep the internet free, especially for people that are disabled, so they can get the the resources they need for people to be able to educate themselves that really don't have the wherewithal and the means to go for higher education um, or any education in some cases. The internet provides that, and I believe it should be free. You know, and um, I'll, I'll be an advocate for that. I don't usually join. I'm not a joiner of movements and things like that, but. I'll say that um, the Internet has made it possible for me to be on this show with Peter. He's in Minnesota. I'm in New York. You know, I mean, come on. It should be free. We're trying to teach people things. Um, I really do believe in it. And I just want to thank you. I want to thank Pete. Thank you, Pete, for being on the show with me. It's cool. I like it. Good. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Yeah, most definitely. It, it's been fun. It's been awesome. Like I said, we're, we're going to be creating some more awesome episodes with some more great guests. Um, a little, a little side note here for you guys for like net neutrality. If you guys want to support uh, net neutrality, there is actually a, uh, I believe, a class action lawsuit with numerous states piling in as we speak. Uh, so if you want to become a part of that, contact your local state representatives uh, to see if you are a part of this and if you are not, uh, to encourage them to become a part of protecting the Internet and making sure that it's free and accessible for everyone to use in the coming years. Um, but, yeah, I, like you said, is I do I do say to you guys, you know, Happy New Year 2018. We're ready to get rolling and getting, getting some good stuff uh, out there for you guys, and you guys are ready to do some awesome things in the world. So uh, what we'll do is we won't, we won't take up too much more of your time, but what we, what we will say is that we will have another show coming up very soon, episode 21. We do hope mm. that you guys check out the show because we really, really – uh, enjoy you guys and your feedback and doing the show. It's just awesome. Um, make sure to check out the next show. You can find us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google Plus, and all those great different places we are expanding every single day. Yeah. Uh, so thank you guys so very, very much. Uh, this has been episode 20 of Seeing Beneath the Surface. Uh, have a great night, guys, and have a great night, Tony, and thanks for being here. Thank you.